Hello everyone, what's going on? It's Eric and welcome back to more Let's Play Drill Dozer. In the last episode, we started off in the art museum, and now we're actually going to go crack open that beautiful vault. So that way we can get our red diamond back. So, yeah, this is actually my favorite level. Uh, I mentioned in the last episode that this was my favorite. I made mention of it a lot of times. So, yeah, there are three dials. That's something to very keep a mention on. Also, we're in no way in hell getting through that. Yeah, also, we're uh, back down to one gear, so not really going to get very, very far. Or at least we're not just going to do a lot of damage. Bunch more chips. Also, uh, in the last episode, if you notice how there is a what looks like a small green battery beneath my uh, health gauge, that's basically another energy tank. So we've got plenty health to last us. At least I hope so. I know with my track record of getting hit by damn near everything, uh, pretty sure I'm not gonna last that long. Oh yeah, there's this fun little part. Uh, that pink thing, avoid it. Because it's not gonna like, oh, it's gonna kill me. Nah, it's just gonna hurt. I'm looking out for everybody's well-being when playing this game. <laughs> yeah, we're not getting past those blocks anytime soon. <sighs> I apologize. I didn't mean to yawn. Also, second gear. That wall is gone. Let's so get to these air ducts a little faster. I love running away from those things. They're kind of fun. Whoop. Okay. Ow. That freaking hurt. Ow. Okay, we are actually, uh... If I'm correct... I'll have to check back on that one. Uh, I was going to explain that uh, bef on the map there's a small little part where it's like this is how many oh, damn it, how many uh, treasures each map has and I was going to say I believe this one has two and we're going to be able to get one of them this time around. Drilling, get more chips. You'll want to stay doing the uh, dash for that part. That way you're not getting injured and... You know, because steam burns, they suck. This I know, because... <laughs> Been steam burned one or two times, it's not fun. If I'm correct, we're actually at the first, yes, the first one of the seals. The room you just sneaked into must be a guard station. It's the control room for opening the giant vault. If you turn the wheel, you can turn the dais on the vault. But you must turn each of the three dials from different rooms. This is the art gallery. Talk about heavy-duty security. Yeah, no shit. 
but the device itself is rather simple. The problem here is figuring out which way or how many times I turn the dial to unlock it. Unless we know that info, what's the point in being here? Boss, do you see anything that would not, not be a clue? Uh, you can actually interact with a couple things here. Uh, if you see a thief, I should assume there are a hundred more you can't see. We're not ninjas. Attention newly hired security guards to so open the vault, turn the red dial two times to the right and four times to the left. This is a top secret resource, so don't go blabbing about it to your buddies or post it on the frickin' wall because you're idiots. Okay, so. Two to the right. Ta da! So the red one was done. Excellent, the first lock has been released. Go check the next control room. And we gotta fight our way there. Robodog! Oh, come here. Destroy your robodog. Excuse me a brief moment, everyone. I am back. I apologize. Let's continue on. None must see me. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. I, I just wanted to do that. I didn't have to do it. I just wanted to. <laughs> You see now, security cameras are just evil little devices. And some health, though I don't need it that much. But, oh well. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, the thief has finally shown up. I bet you want that diamond, huh? How about I give you a taste of my EMP bombs instead? Stay killer of those EMP bombs, you'll, you'll trash your drill those are in a hurry. EMP bombs? No problem, just use the fountain on them. You're smart, cutie, I'm sure you'll figure it out. So yeah, what you have to do for this fight is literally control the fountain and be quick enough to destroy those EMP bombs. Otherwise, well, the drill those isn't going to be too terribly happy with us. After destroying a good number of them, they actually end up, uh... If I'm correct, they'll actually just kind of stop on their own. Oh god, that's gonna suck. I don't know how many of these things you have to ruin. Okay, there we go. We got it. Detective Carey! We've used up all of our EMP bombs. Dang. Oh well, there's always the vault. Oops! I mean, never mind. We'll let that cute little red dozer go. For now. Hey, that was Detective Carey. She's the most ruthless detective in the force. If she's here, she's got to be protecting something important. That's it! Our red diamond has got to be in that vault. That fountain has some serious pressure. It should be even it should be it should even be able to lift your heavy drill dozer. Which Girmo is correct, it actually will. What you need to do is actually bring it here over to the right as about as far as possible, and then hurry up and get out of it so you can do what I did, completely miss it, and screw up on platforming. <laughs> Ba just basically do that, that's all you really need to do for being through that part. 
you want, you can go ahead and destroy these things that actually help you. Uh, do you want to stop that guy? Oh, the second guard room. All right. This locker smells like old socks. Yes, yes it does. There's a police bulletin here on the desk. Don't hassle any thugs from the Skulk Gang. They're paying us well. Arrest Red Dozers on site. This little backstory: the Skulkers are basically bribing the cops. Okay, the famous five diamonds will be displayed in the art museum. Come and behold their mysterious power with your own eyes. There's a memo stuck to the bottom of the flyer. Turn the dial five times to the left and three to the right. Okay, so... Okay, anytime you happen to see the little dial part light up, that means you actually did it correctly. Then anytime the entire dial lights up itself, well, that means, well, it's done. You can literally just move on. You did it, and there's only one more dial to go. Which, that's the really fun one. Wahaha. <laughs> Yeah, uh, destroy that. Sorry, I got like a slight strike. Uh, destroy the kind of lighter part here. Go up there. Just another box for some more uh, coins. There are more chips. See, now what we want to do is come back here to the fountain. This is one you'll have to be a little quicker for. But, yeah, you want to go up to the left side because... Well, if you attempted it before, you would run into the stronger barrier. Now you don't have to worry about it. Ooh. What about all these lasers? Yeah, that's a doozy right there. Now, here's the really fun part. Is we basically just have to go place this where it needs to go. While also avoiding a laser. But seeing as it's only just one laser, it's not that difficult. For the little piece of health. Okay, uh, if I'm correct, and which I am, awesome. The, uh, treasure I was mentioning earlier is actually in this segment of the room right here. It's not that difficult to miss, but it's easily overlooked if you aren't paying attention to it. Also, there's some more chips right there if you want them. Okay, when you get to the top of this, don't do what I just did. Yeah, be sure... I'm pretty sure you can get it going only second gear, but... Uh, I usually attempt to go third. Yeah, but break through all that. And there's a chest here with samurai armor. Another treasure. Which is irony because we're in a museum. Ah, well. Do, 
So at least we were lucky to get behind that one before. Uh, if you at attempt attacking those guys from the front, I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, you'll just end up drilling into the shield and it'll kind of knock them back a bit. So I'll show you here. Ding. Does that, which I believe kind of does a temporary stun to where you can possibly get behind them a little bit easier. Masters, Art and Society, Fine Art of Rizzle, Japanese Prince. It's a diamond on the bookcase. The diamond is incredible. I can't believe I finally got a chance to view it in person. I attempted to display it in a museum, but once I held it in my hand, I wanted it for myself. Just to be safe, I'll keep the diamond in the vault for now. So memo stuck to the page. Turn it 6 left, 1 right, 12 left. Remember that. Because that is a pain. So, uh, if you have anything to write that down on, I suggest doing that now. Uh, just so you at least don't have to forget it. What was this? Yeah, I'm I'm just writing that down real quick. Okay, there we go. So now, if you actually want to uh, get over to where you can do something about that, take the painting place it where it needs to go. You can look into that bookcase, which we will after, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. One right. Now twelve left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, well, but yeah. Now, simply put, we gotta get back there. Okay, you did it, boss. You cracked the lock on the vault. Let's go and see what's inside, which is our red diamond. Uh, pieces of Picasso, corner dolly, Chagall carpet, Chisholm, and Sunday days. Go going my way. Go going. <laughs> More. A lot of artistic puns right there. Robodog. Come here, Robodog. Correct, and this is the same part I'm thinking of. I think we need to start being a little quick through this part. Oh god. Oh, 
some? Which one do you Uh, but if you stay down there, you can actually get more chips, which, at this point, with me having basically four shy 800, uh, don't have to worry about them too terribly much. But chips are always, like, the nice thing to have, mainly just for the upgrades. Three, and we. Welcome to Drill Dozer Hell, basically. I'll say hello to a lot of chips. Oh god. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, stay going third gear and you'll just rip through all this. Until you reach right here to where it immediately stops because one of those little pink asshats comes along. Oh, we get to face one of my favorite mini bosses. This guy. So his gimmick is, is that his eye will basically flash and he'll do that. But when his eyes peek into the vent. So whichever eye flashes, that's the way you'll want to back away from or move forward from. Although as well. You see if the right one flashes, you'll want to go back and then just kind of drill into his face. The left one flashes go forward. In our case, we'll always, well, as you had seen, you'd always want the uh, his right eye to flash. That way, you can back up and then just kind of rip into him. Also, if you were really low on energy from just that fight alone, or even throughout the entire level, that's basically kind of like a full energy. Here's the fun part. Basically, get yourself up to third gear. And then the vault will open itself. And we're literally just gonna go right on in. You're in the vault! Hoo wee! Just look at all that gold. The red diamond of yours has got to be around there somewhere. <laughs> Are you looking for this? Um, no, that that's a yellow duh. I knew you'd become looking for the. I knew you'd come looking for the diamond. I've been waiting for you. There's no way I'm handing it over. Detective Carey is acting really odd. The yellow, the diamond in the safe. The yellow diamond. I won't hand it over. Won't give it. It's mine. All mine. Be careful, she's possessed by the power of the diamond. She can't hear you now. You've got to destroy her robot. Police robots have a weakness around their belly. Look for it. This is a very fun fight. So, when she actually picks up that, uh... Thing that looks like a giant pair of handcuffs, uh, jump over it, and then, yeah, just kind of drill into the stomach. But be careful of which way it goes. Because it can even go higher. Which is not fun for like anybody. I don't even think us like dodge rolling that. No, I guess when it go when it goes high, yeah, you can uh, can uh, do the dash. When it goes low, you'll want to jump it. Well, I guess. Oh gosh, hi.
Yeah, be careful, because if she gets close to you when that happens, you're in a world of trouble. Did not honestly think that pair of handcuffs would end up coming back. Yes, and now that it's destroyed, uh, we do the more fun part. Basically, she'll just hover around up there, but then uh, she'll drop down on us, and you'll want to just kind of drill up into the, well, where the rockets are coming from. Uh, don't concern yourself with these guys too terribly much, because the second you go up and then come back down, they're all gone. Ah, oh, you little... Oh, come on, I totally... Nah. Oh yeah, if she also does that, she'll completely eliminate all of them. Let's get her this time. Got it! And then the most, like, generic of anime explosions. Huh? I came here to arrest some thieves. What happened? I see. So you came to get your red diamond back. Well, this isn't the diamond you're looking for, thief. S really? It's yellow. We're looking for a red one. <laughs> Kill the engine, boss. You're back in the trailer safe and sound. Detective Carrie is usually pretty cool and collected. What got into her? Why did she go crazy, so crazy for that diamond? Come to think of it, wasn't the diamond we were looking for red? That one was yellow. And this museum brochure says something of something happened to the five diamonds. So what you're saying is there may even there may be even more diamonds out there? I think so. I've heard of a blue diamond hidden somewhere in the Kuru ruins. Think it's one of the five diamonds we're looking for? Going to save, and if I'm correct, we've actually unlocked something in the shop. If not, then it's probably after this level. Didn't honestly think so. Uh, we're actually going to pick up another energy tank because the Kuru ruins are a pain. If you're not careful, they're not. They're not exactly all that fun. Uh, we did collect the samurai armor treasure. Which, as you can see, we have two out of 31 of them. Yeah. Fun, fun. Uh, yes. The summer was worn by a samurai warrior in ancient Japan. Uh, let me see if I can actually point that out, the whole... See, that's where we're headed next, is the Kuru Ruins. Uh, didn't think that was a thing just yet. Underneath the, uh, levels, the little level pictures, there would usually be a thing there that says, uh, how many treasures it has, but I... I think we have to get through the game first. But. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Drill Dozer. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on the Kuru Ruins. So until then, this is Eric signing off. See you later.